flight information is in one place. The flight parameters that you are used to are displayed in a conventional T. Airspeed, horizon, altitude, and heading. And just above these basic flight parameters, you'll conveniently find just what your autopilot, flight director, and auto thrust are doing as you fly. During a malfunction, wouldn't it be nice to know just how it affects your aircraft capabilities? Well, the status page on the ECAM does just that. Here, we can see with the green hydraulic system inoperative, the other systems that are inoperative because of it. Airbus has designed all the indications in a logical, intuitive and consistent manner. All this is made possible thanks to computers. People ask if pilots are being replaced by computers. The answer is an emphatic no. Computers are only tools that pilots use. Another question which is often asked is, do I need to know what's inside these computers, inside these tools? Well, do I need to know what's inside this pocket calculator? Of course not. All I need to know is how to use it. What we primarily need to know is what the indications and the information displayed to us mean as a result of the computers. Here is where the operational nature of the Airbus family comes in. Here we have the wheel page displayed when the landing gear is extended. But what about an abnormal situation? In this example, the aft cargo door opens in flight. The ECAM diagnoses the situation and automatically displays the door page. It isn't necessary to memorize too much on this aircraft. It's much more important to recognize and to understand what you see. And it's as important to continuously follow the basic principles that you know so well. Airmanship and crew resource management. Because these new tools, these computers, do not control you. You use and control them. For instance, some of these computers automatically control the basic aircraft systems so that, in normal operation, we pilots have very little interaction with them. But, at any time, if we wish, we can manually control them. But now, let's have a look at another very interesting set of computers the Flight Management and Guidance System, the FMGS. This tool allows you to follow your flight plan exactly, both laterally and vertically. Let's look at some more components of the FMGS, most of which you are very familiar. We have the Auto Thrust, the autopilots and the flight directors. Remember this component of the FMGS? We inserted our flight plan here. Here is where we follow it.
We can follow the flight plan very conventionally using speed, heading, altitude and vertical speed. Or by pushing a button it can all be done automatically. In this way, we can follow our flight plan more precisely, more easily, and far more efficiently. By the way, did you notice the intuitive nature of the navigation presentation? It is just one option. Simply by turning a knob, all the standard ADF, VOR, and ILS indications that you know so well are here for backup and for you to cross-check. I would like to talk to you about one more set of computers. The computers for the fly-by-wire. They are called the flight control computers. They replace what you had in your previous aircraft. Cables, bell cranks, pulleys, artificial fields, their springs, jacks and analog computers. The controls, however, are very familiar. In pitch, we have stabilizers and elevators. In roll, we have ailerons and spoilers.